Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite the Explosive. Well, Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I got the stick, dude. We're playing Madden 20. Yes, sir. The Houston Oilers. Ooh. As always, playing offense only, we're sitting that D using yeah. the balance playbook, playing on all Madden. Arcade mode difficulty. Arcade mode difficulty? Is there a different type of mode? There's, there's like competitive and Ooh. simulation. And what? Mm -hmm. The competitive mode is cool. It's just really jank because like what ends up happening in that yeah. is that like if you throw it to a guy mm -hmm. and he's not good enough, he just drops the – you get like tons of drop passes because you'll throw it to the receiver and it just like hits their hands and they're like, oh, they were partially covered, so they just drop the ball. Mm -hmm. it's so it's like, harder. Well, it's even, yeah, it's even hard, but it's not entertaining to watch because it's a lot of, like, dropped passes and, like, stuff like that. It's like, oh, boy, that, yeah, 19 really good passes and 17 of them were dropped. Yay. So. Oh, look at our commentators. <laughs> I've never seen those faces yeah, before. Yeah, they aren't real. Yeah, they are real. That's, that's the thing. Um, oh, look at, look at our all-white uniforms. I'm, I'm game. Yeah, dude, right? It's almost um, Dolphins colors. My let me favorite. see here. Uh... I actually, I think uh, recently, mm. uh, someone, someone was watching last year's Desperados videos and Dude. put a comment that was like, you should move up to All Madden. And I was like, you're <laughs> watching last year's videos. I definitely am playing on like, All Madden. Like, homie, now. these came out 275 days ago. <laughs> they really did. That's probably about how far along they did. Yeah, I mean, I appreciate the old Yeah, comments, dude, I was so. like, thanks for watching, man. I appreciate it. Check our playlist page. We got, we have current stuff. Right. All right, man. What's today's topic? Go. Uh, that was a good segue, though. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Very nonchalant. Uh, all right. Glasses. Jones, you, know, you wore glasses before? I own a pair of glasses. You got some cheaters? No. The reason I have them I like is I have good cheaters. insurance, and my eyes aren't really that bad. But I um I can get the glasses really cheap. And they do help some. Like, sometimes if I get headaches and I put them on, they, but I don't, like, need them at all. Like, my left eye is worse than my right eye, but my right eye compensates so much. The eye doctor was like, you don't need to wear your glasses. Oh, you don't have 2020, fam? No, dude. I actually had an incident happen. That, <laughs> no, I'm no, no joke, dude. Some semen to the eye? Dude, I was, I was, I used to have a job at Blockbuster Video. It's semen. And I went outside to change the garbage. Guaranteed semen. It's definitely not semen. <laughs> All right. I went outside to change the garbage out front of the store. And I was, like, changing the bag, and something flew into my eye. Semen. <laughs> yes. There was just a <laughs> bottle of semen in the garbage. You got it. And, and uh, no joke, dude. Like, I couldn't see, like, out of my eye for, mm -hmm. like... It was like it was super blurry to the point that I was, I was like really worried for like a day and a half. No. And I went to the eye doctor, and Damn. they gave me like some prescription drops and stuff. And ever since then, my vision hasn't been twenty twenty. Like I can still hmm. see out of it; it's not really bad. Yeah. But it, it's like my other eye compensates. He's like, it's just bad enough that you could get a corrective lens. And so in my glasses, one eye has a little bit of a prescription, and the other one is just literally a piece of glass. Did you did you like wash your eye out with water and stuff when it when uh you Holy got... crap, dude. Yes, I, I tried to fix my eye, dude. I didn't just, like <laughs> I don't I was know. just like, well my eye's gone, F it. Dude, you you can get pregnant getting stuff in your eye like that. I'm yeah, just saying. No, but uh so I do have glasses. I don't need I'm not required to wear them. Mm. I uh but yes, like I uh I do not and I know you don't got twenty twenty. Oh, absolutely not. I wore glasses for, honestly, most of my life. I'm sure you even recall me wearing glasses for the majority of the time. That oh, I've known you know you. what? Like, when I first met you way back when, I believe you did have glasses. I've worn glasses until I turned uh, that many. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to tell. I'm not putting a right, number. Right, 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 right. So for about the last seven years of my life, I have Dude, not worn glasses. Dude, look at Six Guns slang in the rock to AJ Brown. That's what he does, man. That's why he's, That's why they call him Six Sons. Yeah, that's why we call um, him So I got Lasix eye surgery about seven years ago. Maybe a little and bit you longer. you still don't have 20, 20? Um, it is significantly better. Like, my, my frames were... My, pff, dude, I used to wear Coke bottles. Oh, like, like you had, like, the... Bad. Oh, I got you. Yeah, so right. I got Lasix about seven years ago. It is the weirdest ish. I don't know if I've ever told you, but with Lasix eye surgery, essentially they give you like antiseptic drops to kind of like numb the pain. Right, right, right. And then you ever seen Clockwork Orange? Of I have. Of course you have. 
but viewers at home, if you've never seen Clockwork Orange, it's like when they have them watching a movie and they have oh, like, like these. Oh, I'm mu- watching like all that desensit- de- desensitization yeah. stuff. Yeah, so they like put the metal like things in your oh my eyes. Oh god! And so keep you like felt like you're in Clockwork. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Like literally, so they put those in my eyes, so I can't, right. I can't close them, no matter how right, hard I try. Right, because they're gonna have a laser, so yeah, yeah. And they lay you on your back, and he gave me like a stuffed buffalo. He was like, "You're gonna need this," and I'm like, "What the hell am I gonna need this for?" He's like, "You're gonna need it." And so they, you're, you can't close your eyes, and then they just come at your eye with an effing scalpel, and then like I don't know if you're supposed to feel it. It felt like a sharp pain, but they do like a cut, and they just do like. A deep enough cut just so they they uh, can lift up the top layer, right? Yeah, like the top layer of your eye, and they just like flip it up like a like, like, a, like flip, a pancake, like a flip top lid, and then they bring this big machine and it like goes over your eye and it goes, da, 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 and then you, your eye kind of goes blurry for a little bit, and then you smooth it out. They do the other eye, and then immediately after I got up, I was like, all right, I was like traumatized because this is traumatizing. Oh, yeah, this <laughs> It's traumatizing, dude. And then oh. he, and then he like Hi, points. Heinz. He punts, points the clock across the room. He's like, "What time is it?" And I look at the clock. I'm like, "It's two forty-five." He's like, "I bet you couldn't see that before." And I was like, "You're right, I couldn't." You're not even lying, dude. <laughs> that so, has to be a weird feeling, too. It is like, weird, man. It is very weird. So, over- don't you have to refresh it every? Doesn't it like need redone sometimes with people? They said that sometimes it will. They say that they can uh, actually make it a little bit better because the first time might not necessarily correct it as much as it possibly can. Oh, and I imagine by now it's like. But my come eyes, a long way. my eyes were so bad that the uh, physician that did it, he said, uh, usually we would sometimes we would have people come in to get it refreshed, but he was like, "There's no way we're gonna make your vision any better." So oh wow! He was like, "You're good." He's he was like, like "Where?" <laughs> yeah, he was like, "From where you were to where." you are now is the absolute best that we can do so i don't wear glasses to drive i don't really need to i don't need the glasses to read i don't really need to i still have a little myopia so i'm nearsighted for sure i can't read the screen that's why i always make jonas read everything (laughs) it's not that he's illiterate folks he just can't read from that far away yeah (laughs) but uh yeah so i haven't worn glasses since man i could probably use some but oh f yeah. it dude i didn't know the ha- we're, we're t- so busy in in conversation i didn't realize it was half time <laughs> i know man and we missed out on points and we're tied well f it dude it's all right man yeah it's all right we don't need the points when you said glasses i literally at first thought you meant like drink glasses really <laughs> and i was like why would i do you own drinking glasses? you said glasses and then, uh, I don't know. We can go into drinking glasses, you know, this plastic or... Second half, same <laughs> subject, different <laughs> event. Plastic or glass. Dude, I'm a plastic I boy. know, and I hate it, dude. <laughs> I call them kitty cups. That's what my mom used to call them. Well, dude, they're just... I don't I don't know, man. That's why I've drank out my whole life. Didn't your mom ever ask you to get, get her something to drink? Yeah. Okay, and if I'm back... a plastic cup, dude. <laughs> All we had was plastic cups, dude. We were poor. But my mom we didn't would have be fancy like, "Fancy glass glasses? Come on, man!" My mom would be like, "Don't put it in a kitty cup," and I'd be like, "All right, <laughs> I get it. Once I'm an adult, I can no longer use plastic dude, cups." That's, I don't know, man. I don't feel that way. <sighs> obviously. I mean, yeah, obviously. Yeah. Like when we have when we have company over, you're always quick to go for the plastic cups with the, the freaking clown colors. Oh, on them. look at that, dude! Ooh, oh, oh, they can't oh, even AJ get them down Brown with a little bit of toughness. Yeah, dude, I want them to know they're safe here. <laughs> What's that? Letting them know they're safe. Yeah, dude, it's a, it's a safe environment. It is, it's no plastic break cups. the cup and jam a shard into their neck. This isn't prison, Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's going to make a shank out of a glass. <laughs> They're like, well, what did you say? Smash a glass. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Jesus, my glass are Pyrex anyway. They're not. They're not breaking. I've dropped that some on the ground. It hasn't shattered once. Dude, I just want them to feel safe. Yeah. So I don't know. Ever since I've been an adult, I don't f with kitty cups. I don't want some design on there. I don't want my sh- have Shamu on it or anything. <laughs> <Shamu>. <laughs> Did you know they still have Sea World? Yeah, dude. I thought they closed that. And there's, that like, no there. freaking animals there. They're just yeah. like, we can't have dolphins. Actually, they do have dolphins. They yeah, like, they got and dolphins. And they still, like, train them to, oh, my God, six guns. I think they still have the killer whales, too. But, uh. Jonah ooh. was in the out of the end zone, bro. Come did on, catch, six guns? He didn't catch that, did he? No. He caught it, but he was six gunning himself to death. Uh, yeah, so now they got, like, rides and stuff at SeaWorld, I guess? Not the one I went to, man. Oh, I went I, to the one in San Diego. It still had, like, dolphins. 
I mean, how long ago was it? Oh, there was a ride, dude. It was like a wa wet wild adventure, like in a yeah, like one of those things where like you stand on the bridge, you're like, I wonder what's gonna happen, and then you get soaked, and then they're like, here, pay five dollars for a big fan. Oh, thank you for some dirty ass water to my face. Right, thanks for making me wet the rest of the day and giving me a crotch rash. Yeah, from my pants rubbing on my legs. Now I got trench foot. <laughs> yeah, right now I have trench foot. Exactly. Jesus. Yeah. Sea World bringing trench foot to families across the nation. J Sly, Joey Sly, bro. Maybe, maybe I could get contacts though. I'm just getting back to the whole glasses. You probably thing. could, dude. I'm a little apprehensive about putting anything in my eye. Even I don't know if you've had my... once you've had LASIK if you can have uh, contacts because I don't think that flap ever heals. Don't you tell me what I can't do. You can't. I was going to say something that wouldn't be appropriate for you. Exactly. YouTube. You can't do that on television. Oh, Jonu is tough. Oh, my God. Oh. No wonder we're cousins. He's tough like <laughs> bull, dude. No wonder Jonu's we're doing Jonas. I can tell you guys look exactly alike. <laughs> From the other side <laughs> of the family, dude. It's exactly what you look like, except lighter. <laughs> except lighter. Yes. <laughs> oh, we're pulling away now. I'll pull it away from you, sir. I would hope so. You better not ever have it near enough for me that you have to pull it away. Or I, we'll have a problem. <laughs> I kind of feel like glasses are like, oh uh, like you, you're not supposed to hit a kid with glasses because glasses are expensive. You're not supposed to hit a kid anyways? I mean, some kids kind of Oh, you mean like kids it. hitting other kids? Yeah. Oh, I think adults hitting kids. Kind of like, like glasses are like an extra layer of protection. Yep, but don't hit me. I got glasses. Your mom will have to pay for them. Oh, dude, nobody cares about that. Yeah, dude, I've been hit a bunch of times. In a little bit in the psyche of TNT. Yo, I swear, I man. Glasses, I still got hit. Yo, it's like, I swear, as big as I am, Jonas, I've still had some issues with kids in high school, man. But Or not high school. I say like before middle school once i got to middle school that is stopped i wasn't having that business yeah yeah i think it's uh i think I'm a lot well yeah i think a lot of that like once you get a little bit older people like re it's like it's like when you're a kid and you're like oh i'll jump out of the tree it's cool like oh whatever and they're like oh, i'll pick on the, the kid who's bigger than me but then when you're like in high school they're like if that kid gets the hold of me he can really yeah he man can really tear me up i i might be exactly. able to do it but yeah probably not a good idea watch watch who you make fun of in school man they oh absolutely. grow up to be a ufc fighter yeah like, dude absolutely. like me definitely ufc fighter no Ooh, glasses aj brown is tough dude i will admit that once i got rid of glasses i was just like oh yeah i'm ready to fight now <laughs> <laughs> now, now you're just a jerk. Now you're like the fight guy. Seriously, because I had like these thick ass glasses, Jones. If those things got knocked off of my face, you won the fight. Now? <laughs> oh, luck. you're like, now I can actually see you enough. Yeah. <laughs> I get you. Like, you're like, if you hit him off, I'm blind. Exactly. I'm Dukes and Bloodsport, man. It's just like, <laughs> ah! I'm, I'm just, sorry. Okay. I got you, you. I you, know, you know the reference? I, I don't. No, Bloodsport. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bloodsport, uh, John Claude Van Damme. Remember the guy throws some stuff in his eye at the end oh, of the movie, yeah, he's and, he, like, oh and he's like, God. "I gotta fight blind." He says, "Ah!" Yeah, he's looking around. That's he like punches the him. Part of any <laughs> Van Damme movie, too. Like, what is the purpose of that? I don't he's know, man. High end. Jean, Jean Claude had a good. <laughs> you need some glasses. Jean Claude had a good run, though. Dude, he did. For as trash as his movies were, like he really. I mean, he should be happy he had the run he had. I know. I love Bloodsport, though. Dude, man. some Blood of his Sport. some of his early movies. Movies like the first like few. Once he started getting into like Time Cop and stuff, dude, dub time double cop. impact. Time Ooh, cop. Some of them. What was the movie with him and Dennis Rodman? That oh my god, double team. Double team. Oh my god, dude. Why? <laughs> Why is that? It's like a when Steven thing? Seagal did that movie with DMX, we talked about. Oh, before. that was Cradle to the Grave. Yeah, dude, that was trash. Too. Or no, was that Half Past Dead? That was Half Past. <laughs> there were so many. It's half past dead. Oh god, I got call timeout. I don't recall, but yeah, I think it might have been half past dead. I think. Yeah. Cradle to the grave was DMX and Jet Li. Oh, that's true. Which is another Jet Li. That was the end of his career. It's like you do a, a movie with a rapper who's never acted, and that's like the end of your Jet or like Lee. a celebrity. Yeah, Jet Li was in the movie with uh, what was it? Romeo Must Die too. That movie was good though. You like Romeo Must Die? Yeah, with Aaliyah. I don't feel like I've ever. He was seen like the it. bodyguard of Aaliyah in that movie. No. He had really cool scenes where he like he would kick a dude and it would sh show like the X-ray of him like breaking his neck. Huh. It did it like twice, and that I don't remember anything about the movie, but that part was cool. So like the rest of it was probably trash. Like a Mortal Kombat X Factor. Yes, move? exactly like that. Hundred uh, percent. They stole it from Romeo Must Die. They probably did. They, I, yeah, I guarantee it because it was like fifteen years later it came <laughs> out. Six guns. 
thrown it up. To, oh, my God. Oh, it almost it caught that. It off his neck. I don't know Gibson's first name, or we would talk about it. Uh, it's, uh, ah, I was so close, Mel. Well, Mel Gibson. Yes, <laughs> Mel Gibson. Because we, we have Dunta Robinson, or no. Dunta? No, Demarcus Robinson. Why did you call him Dunta? Because there was a guy named Dunta Robinson before. Him. <laughs> okay. I'll, he was a cornerback. I'll take your word for it. Yeah, it's true. Favorite celebrity with glasses, Mick Moranis, go. Uh, Gave mine. Celebrity with glasses. Yeah, they don't do it too much anymore, yeah, man. Glasses, yeah, exactly. You can't even name a current celeb. Who oh, he glasses. just threw two of us off like we're freaking schoolgirls. Uh, Jeffrey Goldblum. He's pretty good. Yeah, Jeff Goldblum has glasses. Yeah, did I call him Jeffrey? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this guy's glasses. Yeah, that guy. That's my favorite celebrity. With <laughs> I glasses. can't even see. Yeah, let me. Uh, I'll check. I'll check what our receiver's name is, but. You know, that is all the time we have for today's episode. We won that fast? We won, dude. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, we killed them. I was ready to keep going. Yeah, we got to know the one coming soon. So please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy our content. Yeah. The best thing you can do to help us out, share our content with your friends because we don't have any. And don't be ashamed of your glasses. And don't be ashamed of your glasses. But for Jonas, and we will catch you on the next one. But we are a Oh,